Kardec Radio presents its first spiritist novel. And life goes on. By the Spirit, Andre Luis, psychographed by Francisco Candido, Xavier, adapted by Sonia Sorvillo, English version by Vanessa Anceloni. And Life Goes On is a book that portrays life in two realms. It shows the consequences of our daily choices in our families and all life circumstances. It is a journey to self-knowledge and inner empowerment. We begin our journey in a beautiful garden, where we find Evelina seated at a bench. She is thinking to herself. Here I am to rest and acquire new strength for my surgery. How will it be? Things change in life and we have not control of them. I am only 26. The years went by so fast. I got married six years ago. Everything was so beautiful and perfect. Kayo loved me and we were happy. Then I got pregnant, but unfortunately my son didn't come to term. Why did this happen? My kidneys. The doctors recommended a therapeutic abortion. And life is an uncertain journey. Sometimes we sail in calming waters, while at times under great storms. If God allows me to go through this surgery, I will restore my marriage, get my husband back, our life together, <laughs> I forgive Kayo. I would love to have a family. It hurts me to read the notes from his lover in his pockets. Well, after the surgery, everything will be fine. I have Kayo, mom, and my foster father. We love one another. My goodness, where is my dad and my baby? What if I die? Will I meet them in heaven? What am I doing thinking of death? Mrs. Serpa? Yes? My name is Ernesto Fantini. Excuse me. I know you also live in Sao Paulo. I too have come to face a delicate surgical procedure. You too? Yep. We have a common problem. So I thought we could talk a little, exchange ideas, if it doesn't bother you. Sure. Would you like to seat? Thank you very much. I have high blood pressure. Sometimes my body is well, other times it is miserable. I know. Specialist here, x-rays there and everything hurts. I know how it is. I have adrenal tumor. I understand. It showed in all x-rays exams. And sometimes I guess you go through its crisis, right sir? Right. That's how I feel as well. We have the same problem. But Mr. Fantini... You can call me Ernesto after all. We suffer from the same problem. Very well, Ernesto. Why are we whispering like this? Well, we are here recovering our physical balance for our surgery. And everyone knows our condition. You're right. It's a condition. Some people don't like such conversations about diseases. <sighs> well, at least it is a rare disease with a beautiful name. Nothing stops its crisis, and they are frequent and ugly. Mrs. Serpa. Please call me Evelina. After all, we share the same rare disease, so there is nothing better than a brotherly closeness. Having a lot of time and trying to understand more about life, I've been reading a lot currently. Great therapy. Lately my therapy is to relax. Evelina, have you read anything about spirituality? No. But do you have any religion? I'm Catholic, but not a fundamentalist. Well, I have been reading something very interesting. And when I saw this carriage passing by, it reminded me of the analogy that the author of the book made between people and the horse carriage. What is it? Well, it's more or less like this. As the carriage, the horse, and the conductor, there is the physical body, 
the spiritual body, and the spirit or governing mind. When the car breaks and does not have any use, the conductor rides the horse and, the same happens to us. When the physical body ages and does not work appropriately, the mind and the physical body leave and search for a new body to embrace. Thus, in each incarnation, the spiritual body and the spirit or mind live a new life. Incarnation? And what happens between each incarnation? The spiritual body and the mind remain in the other plane without the clothing of dense matter. Ingenious theory. Are you religious? I wish I were. But why are you reading about spiritism and spiritualism? Well, did you forget that we have one foot in the grave? <gasps> I'm sorry, please forgive me, I didn't mean it. <laughs> I hope not. In our circumstances, I tend to think of all possibilities. I think of the best ones. Sure, sure. But going back to the matter, do you really believe in this reincarnation theory? Why not? Sometimes it seems that people hold on to these things because they are afraid of death. Aren't you afraid of death? I don't want to die now. I love life. But if God decides to put an end to my life, I accept it. Well, tell me, do you have any proof on reincarnation? Have you ever received communication from dead relatives? Not yet. Hasn't it discouraged you then? Not at all. I prefer my tranquil belief. I respect that. But you know, a tumor makes us think. So, let us do the following. If there is any continuation in life, what about continuing this conversation there? I believe the perspective in the other side must be different. Deal. I just hope the continuation of this issue takes a long time to happen. They say goodbye and stare at each other. Evelina seems to be embarrassed. I will hold on to your optimism. Excuse me, Evelina. Do not misunderstand me. My thought is with my daughter. I wish she were just like you. Did you know I could had be your father? I don't believe you would want a daughter as sick as I am and with guilty conscience. I caused the suicide of a good man who loved me once I decide to marry my husband. Do not blame you that much, because if he didn't do it because of you, he would have done it for some other reason. Believe me, as much as there are criminal minds, there are suicidal people. You say this to calm my heart. You probably don't have guilty conscience, right? Don't be anguished. You're too young. You know, you're opener now. This is life. We learn more with our challenges. We refine ourselves as we suffer and learn. If we get out of this, after surgery, you will see many more suicidals, dishonest people, tragedies, and much more in this world. This is how we learn in this world. What if you don't get out of this alive? See the good side. This disease makes us think. I particularly do not believe that life ends at the grave. On the contrary. You are a good soul. You want to comfort me. Don't say that. I truly believe in what I read. It's said that our body is like clothing and when it's old it's left behind. The same happens with our soul. It's immortal and keeps on living. And my dear, life goes on. So, if that is true, will we meet those who have already left? And also those we wouldn't like to meet. Well, we better go. Right, we need to go. But don't forget our deal. life goes on. By the Spirit, Andre Luis, psychographed by Francisco Candido, Xavier, adapted by Sonia Sorvillo, English version by Vanessa Anceloni.